Well, hello there, Faith Pocatello Daily here. We are looking at the 26th of July, 2022, as we're looking at this idea of peace in the spirit. And one thing we continue to realize is that everything that we need, everything that we long for, everything that the Lord is doing can be found in Jesus Christ. So Ephesians chapter 2, verses 14 through 17. For he himself is our peace who has made us both one and has broken down in his flesh the dividing wall of hostility by abolishing the law of commandments expressed in ordinances that he might create in himself one new man in place of the two, so making peace, and might reconcile us both to God in one body through the Christ, there, through the cross, thereby killing the hostility. And he came and preached peace to you who were far off and peace to those who who were near. Remember some of the things that Jesus said was, peace be with you, my peace I give you. In this world you have tribulation, but take heart, I have overcome the world, is what Jesus says. And so this idea of peace is, is foreign uh, to the world. Obviously, a beauty pageant, all they want is world peace. Um, but, but we realize that that is unattainable. We have moments where um, maybe people are at rest, uh, and it seems like they're at peace with one another. Um, and we are at peace with one another because of the work of Jesus Christ. And so we in the body of Christ can, can have peace together because Jesus is our peace. But the world who does not know Jesus cannot have real peace. So I think it's something for us to pray for, the Lord, that we would have peace in this world and that only comes through Jesus who died and reconciled us to God, making peace with God. I've said it before, and you'll probably hear it throughout the week. Everyone's deepest desire, whether they know it or not, is to be at peace with God. And Jesus himself is our peace. So may God richly bless your day. Enjoy Jesus. Go and share life.